Here we go. Three, two, one. This is nasty. <coughs> it is really stinky, honey. So you just kind of put your mouth up to the hose and. Oh, we have the macerator. And in this video, we are going to show you how to dump your tanks without being at a dump station or at a site with full hookups. So this is a video you're definitely gonna wanna watch. All right, so little known fact, you can actually dump your waste tanks at home. Yes, you can, but to do so, there are a couple of things that you need. Number one, you need one of these. This is called a macerator pump. And this literally makes sure that you know what? Can flow uphill versus downhill. We just got this bad boy in because the last time that we did this, we were mooch docking at my sister's and we used this yeah. instead. Now, little story. This monstrosity down here. Yeah, it was horrible. It actually came with our very first RV that we ever purchased. We have no clue how old this was. And it resulted in what we like to call a poopsie. Because we don't want any more poopsies, we're going to use this. Now, a couple of things if you want to try this at home. Number one, we're gonna dump straight into a toilet. If you do have some sort of a septic, well, that makes it a little bit easier, which we actually do have that here at the Glamper Hideaway. But no, 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 we're gonna show you how to do it in a toilet because everybody has a toilet. And if you don't have a toilet, well, I feel bad for your living situation if you don't have indoor plumbing, but we do. So we're going to get started. So Ben, tell us what all this is over here, this monstrosity. I'm gonna talk about the hoses here and I'm gonna talk about a really important thing regarding your hose. So the big thing is you need to make sure you've got a big hose, okay? Size does matter when it comes to the hose that you're gonna use for the macerator. This is a three quarter inch hose, okay? So it's a little bit thicker in diameter. So thicker is better. It allows more to flow through, better flow rate. I have two 25 foot hoses so I can just hook them together. That seems to be working well. I also have a really long 100 foot one. The macerators will flow through a 100 foot hose, even uphill. The nice thing about this one is that this is a brand new motor. It's the upgraded one. So you're not gonna really have any issues with this thing overheating. Uh, like the last motor did. This one's actually a new revised motor, which is actually improved. We're gonna put it to the test. But first, gloves. You always wanna put the gloves on first. All right, this comes in a nice little plastic case. Let's see what's in here. Ooh wee, she is a beauty. Look at that. All right, so we've got some uh, wire here. This is the, an on and off switch. Ooh. It's got a letter rip button. Letter rip. Eject button. The eject button. And then you've got this wire that you can hook up to your battery. To set it up the way I want to set it up to where I can just clamp it onto the batteries, which is nearby on this class A, we do need to get battery clamps here. So these at Home Depot, they're six bucks. They've got one left in stock here, but this will allow us to just tie it on the end and then clamp it right to the battery. I feel like story of our life with projects. It's never as simple as you thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Ever. Nope. Now 12, bay one, right here. Actually, right here. <gasps> right here. All right, there you go. Or do you want these ones? There's a clamp. No, these ones will go over the whole battery terminal. But this one's got, it that's looks for, like it would be easier doing to... That's illegal things. Oh. All right, so took a little trip to the home despots and got some things to do with the wiring stuff. So we've got power. So now we have the macerator. And we have power when you push the button. Don't push the red button unless you want this. Okay, so the next step is gonna be, Ben's gonna hook this up. We're gonna run the hose. We have a window in the glamper hideaway. 
that goes to a bathroom. So it's gonna be really easy. We've got the RV here. We've got a window there to go straight into the bathroom to dump into the toilet because we're about to get back on the road. And because of our new solar setup, we're going to be pretty much exclusively boondocking for at least the foreseeable next little while that we're gonna be out. So we gotta have an empty tank before we go. This is gonna get the job done. We are now ready to do the fun part. And that is to hook up the macerator to the RV. So there are multiple ways to do this. Two different kind of connections that you may need to get to actually allow you to fit the macerator in here depending on the angle that your poo pipe comes out. Mine comes down straight like this. Either I hate one it of these. when you have a kinked poo pipe. Kink? Unkink. In that case, I bought two, a 45 degree and a 90 degree clear connector. One thing I did notice is, so you can see here, when you try to connect up this 45 degree one from Camco, it actually requires, you know, filing down a little bit before it'll actually fit on here. But this 90 degree one, it connects up without having to shave anything off. Today, we're gonna use the 90 degree. I'm glad I did get both to see kind of which angle worked best. So you connect up the elbow to the poo pipe. I'm gonna call it the poo pipe. Then you connect the macerator up to the elbow. And then you wanna turn the macerator. So actually this is nice because then I can just set it right down here and it's not leaning up against anything. Love it when a plan comes together. <sighs> yeah, and I didn't even plan on it. And so the, the hose is gonna connect up to the macerator. There's two different options to hook up a hose. You wanna hook up the hose to the right hose connector because this is to clean it out. But this particular one is where the poo will be shooting out. It's We're a gonna, poo shooter! Like as I mentioned before, bigger is better when it comes to these hoses. So. So in this case, I hooked both uh, 25 foot ones for a total of 50 feet to our toilet. Let's connect this bad boy up. You wanna get it fairly tight. Then now what we need to do is go to the other end and make sure the hose is in the toilet. You wanna make sure the hose is in the toilet because if you let her fling, it's not gonna be a good thing. Ooh, I'm a poet, I don't know it. <laughs> and one thing is that we're going to run like a little test by opening the gray first. Yes. And not the black. And right. making sure that everything's sealed, no leaks or anything like that by gray first. I ordered online some extra DC wire here. That's the, what is it, 12 gauge, 12 AWG. It's a 50 foot roll. I've got these little butt connectors that you can solder on just with a heat gun. I don't have that far to go. So I just basically ran it right along to my house batteries with some alligator clips. They're the heavy, oh, they're the heavier duty ones. Here's the Battleborns as well. So I can connect to either or. So it's not going to be a problem either way. Charity is going inside and she's going to open up the window and uh, we're going to go ahead and feed the hose right through. All right. All right. So now really this job should be done with two people, one inside, one outside. If you're not going to be attending the inside, I'm thinking we should have like a little clamp to clamp it to the toilet so nothing falls out. I uh, know you need to. If people. it's a one person job, you know. I don't think that you could do this one person. You could if you had a clamp to clamp it to the toilet, but you want to make sure you look through the window that Just things find are going a friend. right. Yeah. Just go around the campground. Get a poo. Well, you're doing this. You're Get doing this friend. at a house. Yeah. So you're going to have a friend somewhere. Okay. All right, we're good. So now I've got the button. Man, I feel like I'm detonating like a bomb or something here. Well, Kind of am. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the gray tank first. I should be wearing my gloves, right? So you always wanna wear the gloves before messing with the poo. Stacy from Today is Someday schooled me on not wearing gloves. We're gonna open up the gray tank first. Okay, we're good. No leaks, okay. Let it fill up a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip! Yeah. All right, she working? Yep. So now we're gonna go ahead and close the gray 
and then we're gonna open up the black. So I must say, viewer discretion is advised. Ready? Yep. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Probably sinks pretty bad in there. I'm glad I'm not the one in there. It's got the unique camping and marine enzymes that have been eating up all the poo. This is nasty. <coughs> it is really stinky, honey. So now that the black is done, I'm gonna close that up, open the gray. And the thing is, you really wanna do this as quick as you can because you don't want the motor to be running dry, but you wanna do black first, then gray. A few moments later. So now we're done. So what I'm gonna do is just shut her down and then I'm gonna wait until I can really hear it ramp up. That means that all the water's out. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go see how Charity's experience was. How was your experience? It stinks. I haven't. That was very Ooh, stinky. I mean, that does stink. So you definitely want a fan on. You want to shut the door, just so there's not a flow of poo stink I'm going like, into the house, right? Literally gonna pass out here in a minute, but. I mean, this is this is doable. I wouldn't say that this is the preferable method by any stretch. If you're at a friend's house, I would maybe put a fan in the window, blow fumes out, so it's not getting sucked into the house. I mean, I put the hose under the water anyway. anyway I don't yeah. even. I don't even. There's just some things I don't want to talk about, and this is one of them. <laughs> yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a hose up to here, and then turn it on, and then kind of flush out the hose and everything with clean, fresh water as well as clean out the macerator area. That'll kind of just get everything cleaned up. Uh, even though we did, you know, run gray water through. So even though that was pretty smelly, I know it would have been like literally 10 times worse if we were not using the drop-in pods and the tank cleaners and all of the treatments that we use from our friends over at Unique Camping and Marine. We have been using their products now in our tanks for over a year now, and they really do help keep the smells away while we're in the RV, but they also help keep our tanks clog free and our tank sensors working. We used to sometimes get like readings on our tanks that we knew were not correct until we started using the unique lineup of products. And now we know our sensors are actually reading correctly when it says that we have either a half tank or a full tank or whatever on our waste tanks. So. We have partnered with Unique for a 15% discount for our viewers. You'll find that in the description below. And we do wanna thank Unique for sponsoring this video. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just take off the connection from the battery. We've got it all cleaned out. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, remove this from here. Obviously make sure everything's closed. Then we wanna go ahead and just uh, put on the cap, put that back on. And then what I like to do is just, uh, you know, fill, because really the biggest thing people don't know about black tanks is they like a decent amount of water in them. So I close up and then what I do, if we're getting ready to go, you know, after a campground, after I've dumped, I'll go ahead and fill it up with water, either through my black flush tank here, where I can put water back in the tank, or I'll lift up the toilet foot pedal to get some water down in the tank and then we'll throw in a pod or two of the unique marine. So that way it's nice and fresh and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the hose. Now you may have a little bit of residual is what we would call it in the hose. So be aware and cognizant of that. Um, what I like to do is just uh, siphon it out. So you just kind of put your mouth up to the hose and no, just kidding, don't do that. Um, you want to actually blow through the hose to <laughs> blow the water out. Ready? <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do that either. But you want to lift the hose up and then just kind of roll it up as you walk. That's probably the best way to do it. Keep it up higher, you know, right over your head. No, don't do that either. So you don't want to get a gray water shower, but any of the residual, I'm just kind of putting into the plants. I picked up probably like 10 or 15 of these Sterilite plastic bins with the clear plastic top. I love these. 10 or 15? Oh yeah, about that. Have so, you seen my videos on minimalism? But they stack. 
So you can see through them, you can stack them. They've got a little lip here so you can stack multiple ones. They've got taller ones. This is gonna fit in a little bin for itself. Oh, and it fits perfectly, look at that. You couldn't have gotten a better bin. Look at this, it's like it, it was meant for it. So you clip these on and then this can go right up here. And we're done. There was one time where we hadn't used that and the kids went to the bathroom and we hit a gust of wind or something and it just sucked the vapors up from the toilet into the RV. It stunk so bad. I will never forget that day. Okay, so in this video, we are going to dump our... Hold. Clap. Or a nice little, you know, feeding of gray tank water. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. They're loving life right now. All right, I'm totally getting stuck. I'm gonna put a video right up here for you to watch where we actually did this one time before, but we were mooch docking and we ran it into a septic tank that was over 100 feet away. So you'll have to take a look at that video. There may or may not have been a poopsie. If we don't see you out on the road or on the campground, we'll see you in the next video.